I just thought it was like really nice to find it and be like, okay, maybe that's something that people didn't know about that we can show and things like that. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jasmine Chiswell and today's video is going to be something extra special so I can't wait to get started. So today's video is going to be something that I have been requested to do for so long so I'm finally going to make it for you and I cannot wait. So I'm going to show you some of the things that we have found while living inside Marilyn Monroe's house. So without further ado you guys, let's get started. So as most of you know, I have lived here for about a year and a half so it's not too long but not too short and since we've lived here we've come across a few things that I'm really excited to show with you guys. I did make some TikToks about it um, and I don't know if I posted about it on Instagram or anything like that or on YouTube so far so this is the first time. <laughs> so I'm going to show you all the pieces that we find and things like that so without further ado I'm going to show you the pieces. Okay, so one of the things that we did find was this old film reel, so I'm going to show you now. So we find this film reel and it was underneath the house. It was really, really bizarre in this really secret room. Um, it is from the World Series from 1951 and it is from the Yankees. And the really bizarre thing about this is that was the last year that Joe DiMaggio did play for the New York Yankees and he did play there for I don't know how many years but that was his team. So so I don't know if he just had that and he just stored it under the house. We have no idea but it's very very unusual and we have been talking to someone about getting the film actually restored to see what's on it and things like that and if it's like if we can save it so we have been looking into that so i'll definitely keep you guys posted as to what happens with it and um, and what we see on the reel so hopefully it's in good condition and we can watch it and things like that but we thought that that was really really cool so we also find these little things so these are made out of clay and they are hand painted and we found these also in that place and it seems like these were used um, as part of the bathroom so the main bathroom does have a design like this in the tiles and these would have been used for well I think this was one could have been put into the sink because our shower does have like one very similar put into the wall into the tiles as you can see it's it looks like it would be sunken into something like, like a sink or something else and this would be one that they would use for a towel holder and there is another one to this I just can't lift it out because they're pretty heavy in this I don't know what this one would be used for it's double sided um, I don't know I first off thought it was like a toothbrush holder but it could have been used for I don't know something else but they're all really really unique and really really pretty Okay, so as I was saying, uh, this is the tiles that are in the main bathroom and they're very similar to what I showed you, pretty much the exact same design. And here is one of them that is built into the shower. So we thought that could have been something that would be used in the original sink. And also, this was here when Marlon and Joe did live here, so they would have been used by them. So we thought that that was so, so cool. Um, and we also have ones that are matching for the upstairs bathroom, which I'll show you guys in another video, but it is so, so cool. And we are planning on restoring the bathroom. So the bathroom, I think someone changed some of it in the 80s. So we just need to change some of it back to how it would have been when they were here. And we've got some people that are going to help us with that to restore it and to make the tiles, make sure it's all identical to what it would have been like. So we can have it just the way that it was because we want to restore it and keep, keep it the way that it would have been when they were here and in the 30s because this house was built in the 30s. So we're trying to keep it as original and as authentic as possible because we don't want anything to be ruined or anything like that we want to keep it very pristine so hopefully we can get started on that soon and I'll definitely keep you guys posted as to how we got off this. So another thing that we came across were these magazines so these are obviously burned magazines as you can see but we found them in an incinerator. So you may be asking what an incinerator was. So basically an incinerator was where people would put stuff in to get burned because they had fires in the house. There are two fireplaces in here. So they would have used it just to burn old magazines, things that they've read or things to keep the fire going. And there is a little pot at the bottom where things have been like burned and they would come out and clean it out. So we find it really surprising that these magazines were only partially burnt and we can still find them. Now the weirdest thing is, 
is these magazines are from 1954 and 1953. So we have no idea as to why they are still there. I do know that the house was like rented out a lot and not many people lived here. So I don't know if anybody really checked or things like that. It's really, really bizarre. But I'm going to show you them now and I'm going to show you something that's even extra, like crazy. So this first magazine is from, I think it's called Modern Packaging. Um, and as you can see, it is badly burned, but there's still a lot of pages that you can still see near the end of the magazine. So I'm going to show you some of the pieces that are inside this magazine. So here are some articles. This is all about packaging in like different containers and things like that. This one's for doctors. Let me see what else is here. These are some more containers. I think these are from like just different um like pharmacy products and things like that. Some ink cartridges, which is so amazing because it's like people used to write with like ink in like a little pot and you don't get that now. <laughs> um, some toothpaste, I don't know, fig bars. Now I grew up with fig bars because my dad loves fig bars, um, but it's like obviously different packaging from here because I'm not that old, you guys. <laughs> um, what is this one? This one is carrots and like where to put your groceries and things like that, like your fresh goods, um, so apples and things like that. Um, I don't know what this is, some printing stuff um, and some more stuff. I don't know what this stuff is, but these are just random, random magazine. Um, these are just random ads and things like that, as you can see. Um, these really cute boxes and things. So I was nothing too <laughs> amazing. <laughs> okay, so this is the other one and I don't really want to touch this without Maverick being here because I do need a little bit of help to go through this one because it is really, really fragile. Um, but it does have some really cute things inside here. I think this one is another modern packaging, but this one has been burned a lot more and it's really, really fragile. Okay, so in this article, it looks like. Okay, so in this article, it looks like someone had circled around certain parts of it. Now it is about packaging, as you can see, um, and it is kind of crazy because that could have been something that either Marlon did or Joe did. So yeah. Okay, so as you can see from that page that I just showed you, it's as if someone had circled around certain parts of the article. Now the article is about branding, so who knows if this was something that Joe DiMaggio wanted to do, or if it's something that Marilyn Monroe wanted to do. So it was really bizarre to see that, and it made me feel like, what if that was something that they both wanted to do, or if it's something that Marilyn wanted to do, or if it's something that Joe wanted to do. I just thought it was like really nice to find it and be like, okay, maybe that's something that people didn't know about that we can show and things like that so I thought that was really really bizarre but also really really cool and the fact that it's still there till this day and you can still see the ink and things like that is so amazing like I honestly can't believe it um, so yeah. okay everyone I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and let me know in the comments if you have anything else that you would like me to show or to do on my youtube channel that would be absolutely amazing and I hope you have an amazing day bye